Wooden constructions, each with unique forms, create diverse spaces. Straight, extending pillars. Massive beams. These building materials are created by connecting or combining several pieces of wood. The woodworking techniques of joinery and wood processing called Sikuchi play a vital role in combining these pieces. When cutting wood in the mountains, it is trimmed for easy transport. The harvested logs are then sawn into lumber for ease of woodworking. Combining and creating a durable joint between processed pieces of wood. This progress in woodworking has significantly contributed to the improvement of construction techniques. There are several methods for joining pieces of wood together. Binding with ropes, for example. Nailing, among other methods. Additionally, there are methods involving joinery and sikuchi. The joinery and sikuchi techniques can be traced back to ancient times, even in buildings from the Yayoi period. Generally, joinery refers to joining members longitudinally. While sikuchi involves attaching members at an angle. There are numerous methods for joinery and sikuchi, and they are selected based on factors such as tension, bending, and twisting stresses, depending on the intended use within a building. One such method, the kosi kakakamatsugi, or lapped gooseneck joint is commonly used in various parts such as beams, pillars, and foundations due to its strength against tension. Now, let's look at the processing of the kosi kakakamatsugi. Marking is the first step. Mark the center line of the building material. Mark ink on both the protruding ogi and the grooved medi parts. Start marking from the grooved part Megi. Use the width of the sasi gane to draw a line with a bamboo pen, sumi sasi, in the grooved part. On both sides, draw lines for the depth of the groove and the kosi kake part. Unlike Megi, mark the groove's depth on the smaller end for Ogi. On the sides, draw lines for the height of the kama and the koshi kake part. With the lines drawn, the shape of the koshi kake kamatsugi is now visible.
draw the width of the groove part, where the koshikake part is created. Make a cut along the drawn lines with a double-edged saw, and create the groove with a nomi. A nomi chisel with an 8 tenths cut is used. Draw lines, inside the groove. These lines, are slightly inclined for better tightening when joined. This is called a sliding slope. A sliding slope is applied to improve the tightness when joined. This part is processed using a different chisel called a Hachibu no Tsuki no Mi. Finish the area that will touch the neck with an Isun Rokubu no Tsuki no Mi. Next is processing the protruding ogi after megi. Mark the height and width of the kama with a sumisashi. Leave the part that will become the kama and koshi kake, then cut it off with a noko. To create a sliding slope, draw the lines at a slight angle. Draw the shape of the camera on the cut surface. First, make a lateral cut for the part that will become the neck. Then cut off the part, that will become the kama.
fine-tune the neck using the Tsuki Nomi. Perform chamfering with the Tsuki Nomi and finish it carefully. The Oggy and Meggy are now complete. You can see the appearance of the sliding slope. A firm joint can be achieved with the sliding slope. 